just quickly show you a few things that are in my freezer. I've been asked uh, quite a few times about uh, how do I store some things. Um, I take the easy way out with what I can. So this is um, in the freezer. I've got peas, of course, are always great in the freezer. Um, I ended up doing the beans that I want to dry. They're not going to make it to dry because of the frost, so they're demi-sec, but they'll be lovely just the same. And uh, the broad beans, sorry, there's a lot of frost there. Uh, the broad beans that uh, two plants that the birds, the crows stuck in there saved me. So um, next year I hope to do more, but that's not bad from two plants. Quite impressed. So beans and peas and parsnips and carrots and lots of greens and herbs. And uh, I've got lots and lots of greens in the, in the freezers um, that I've pulled out. And then um, just the potatoes, I'll show you how I store those very simply. And potatoes I store in my pantry mostly, but also just some overflow. I layer with newspaper and I uh, ventilate these boxes and this is an ventilated room uh, that is fairly cool. Uh, garlic doesn't matter where it is right now. This is just some excess. So I've been Same thing there. So easy peasy, I go the easy route. Well, it's October 1st, so I uh, kind of went to town on picking some things that need to come out because we're due for some cold weather and then just picked some of the usuals that I need for the week ahead. Uh, out in the yard, I still have lots of parsnips and carrots and leeks and beets and turnips. They don't need to come in yet. And lots of celeriac. But, um, oh, and there's some Jerusalem artichoke. New to me, but I'm enjoying them. Anyway, that is a fairly big harvest tonight. Now i got to get to work on uh, putting it away. Thank you.